Tam. Hey guys, you are watching In Bed with Tam, and we are here with one of my favorite celebrities, Heather McDonald. And thank you for watching In Bed with Tam. You've been one of my favorite comedians for quite a while now. You're very open with everything you talk about. You talk a lot about sex. Yes. Is that one of your favorite subjects? Because it's one of my favorite subjects. Well, I've been married for 16 years. Yeah. You've been together with someone Ten. for a long time. Yeah, yes. same to well, penis for 15 is even longer. So, yeah. And you know, some, and sometimes you get jealous of your friends that get fresh dick. Right. Oh my like, gosh, yes. And, I want to know, know all the details. Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, you got a yeast infection? That means That's... you had fresh dick. Like, you'll never get a yeast infection. <laughs> If you've been with someone for a long time, it I doesn't know. happen. Yeah. So that's why I'm. I love talking about. I do too. What it's like to date now yeah. and how difficult it is. But then I'll just want to hear everything. I want to see every Tinder photo. Who you met this guy on Match? And do you think you would be good in Tinder? Because I I think I would play the game totally wrong. I would definitely just be out for the bone. Just you would, right? Any, yes. Would and you put like a really great picture and like you would Photoshop? Well, first the of all, I don't really know how to do that amazing Photoshop that my friends know face how to tune. do. The face tuning. That's I don't all it know is. How. Although so, people look like go, like they're whiting out. No, the face. then you look like an Asian doll. Yeah, right. And I'm like, I don't, you know, like. And what's really awful is when your friends do that. Oh my god. And they only touch up themselves. You're oh, like, it's hey, the man. worst. And then the problem is you can't touch them up because then you're saying that they have yeah. like wrinkles, and then you're you're putting them. Or on have you ever seen? Like when someone gets like it's like a weird arm because they were sucking in their waist, their arm oh. looks like an alien arm. You and always then, have to be very careful. I just don't post a picture if it's not that great. What's your favorite sexual position? Missionary. Is it? Oh. <laughs> no, I like it. It's so okay. I like it uh, behind. That's how I can see my daughter. <laughs> Apparently, if it goes in further, you have more chance of having a kid. Oh, I don't know. I, and well, then he turned me upside down for about an hour and then shook me. And then I was like, swim, swim, be free, free. And it worked. I always thought it would be a really funny, like, prank show thing. <laughs> Guy's having sex with a one-night yeah. stand. And then he comes back from the bathroom and she has her legs up. And like, she's like, trying to get pregnant. Oh, see, that's the best. Like doing that Let's fertility do stance Let's, that you're supposed to do That's what I did. After. Do you have sex every week? No. Like, how long do you go without having sex? Well, we go on a lot of trips without our kids. I'm a huge See, advocate yeah. of vacationing without your children. Yeah. I tell my kids that all the time. I'm like, you know what? You're the reason we fight. Because when you're yeah. not around, we get drunk and we fuck and we go on great vacations. We're going away this weekend. I'm doing a show and yeah. my husband's coming. And yeah, we will we will get our hotel room's worth. Like, it'll be 11.50 like and many... checkouts at 12 and let's just get one more in. So you do. You have a lot of sex when you're together in a small period of time. Yes. Then there will be like a week or two that goes by week or two is fine yeah some people wait like I have friends who wait six months it happens and that's really dangerous it's dangerous because it's just it then it gets weird and you just keep putting it off and then you're each getting resentful and sometimes I don't even like my husband he's still pissing me off I know. and I like climb on top of him and, and then yeah. it's very one thing I'd like to say as being someone who's been married a very long time uh, don't mean to brag, but he's never used Viagra and I don't need lube. So to think that I've like, never used lube. And also I'm like, I'm like, if you need lube, then I feel like someone didn't really do their job. No. I mean, I guess if you have to do the anal like all the kids are doing, but I'm, I'm, a, ever? I'm no. a different generation. No. Ever? No. That's how I lost my virginity. You just <laughs> did it in the butt? Because it wasn't sex. I feel like now that's why I stay married because I don't want to enter the anal. Oh, but it's like it's just another. I know. I, I, it's I, another choice. It seems like a lot of prep work. It seems like a, I don't want to have to plan that much. I don't want to have to think about. Yeah. When did you lose your virginity? Um, about two weeks ago. <laughs> um, I was very Under old. I was 27. Wow. Yeah. But I was looking to have sex. Right. I just wanted to be with a boyfriend. Okay. But so then when you're in your 20s and you're not boning the guy by like the third encounter, they're like, right. this chick's not into me. That's why I, I lost the, uh, that's my why I birthday. That's appropriate. On my parents' stairs. Wait, like out. the stairs were like this? Yeah, like, like all the way down and I was kind of like splayed up. You know, just like stretched because you just have to open everything up. And he was like 15 years older than me, which is like borderline not legal. And then it was what a happened? Lie. It was probably a little bit romantic. And then birthday. did you still go out with him after? Yeah, but my dad wouldn't talk to me for a very long time. I had to communicate with him through letters for about six months. Why? Did he walk in on it? 
<laughs> no, he just knew. He just knew. My mom probably told him. I told my mother everything. Oh. I told my mother everything. Every orgasm I called my mom and told her. God, Isn't that's that so, a lot like, of calls. Yeah, I don't have a lot Good of Good for you. I hope to get that kind of scoop from my stepdaughter when the did time you, did comes. Did you tell your mother everything? No. Yeah, nothing. But then she read the book, and the book is You'll Never Blue Ball in This Town Again. It was all my dating stories. And so my dad was like, well, we're reading the book, and we keep getting closer to, well, we read that you're 25, we read that you're 26, and we know that 27, this chapter's coming. And I still was so embarrassed by it. Even then, I'd be like doing an interview, and they'd be like, next, we've got a woman who was a 27-year-old virgin. I go, oh, God, that sounds sad. Oh, th that's me. I'm... I mean, they knew you had sex when you had a baby, right? Yes, and I did like pregnancy sex. I loved pregnancy sex. It's more sensitive. Everything's more Every, sensitive. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. I wanted to have sex all the time, but then I was a little freaked out that my child was inside me, but my husband was not freaked out by that at all. Did you? Was your husband freaked out? No, and then I think, and then they say when you're like... That's where dimples come when from. When you're trying to... <laughs> I've never heard of that. That's crazy. Like the tip of the dick went in so many times that your child's face formed a dimple. Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. That's cute. And so wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Both my kids were completely appropriate size. They were not giants. Out of your vagina. Out of the vagina. And my vagina is fine. And it, oh, it closed right up like a and piercing, you, but like you, an ear when piercing. You, that you when you put sneeze, it. you pee. Um, trampoline. <laughs> And yelling at either one of my kids suddenly. Like if, if like anger huh! hits okay, me. Okay, I get it, get it, get like it. If anger hits me out of the blue, Whoa, okay. I pee. Okay. Yes, that I pee, but like you know how what? much pee? Like I need to change my underwear. You do? Yeah. Not just like a like sometimes I hold it. <laughs> like as I'm screaming, pick up those legos! Thank you for coming and getting in bed with me. And please follow Heather McDonald at Heather McDonald on Instagram and Juicy Scoop on iTunes. Bye! Mark. Oh my gosh! Drew Barrymore. This is amazing. I can't believe that I can just get into bed with you <laughs> and talk about everything that's intimate and special <laughs> and the surroundings are comfortable. Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, this is um, this is great. <laughs> you know what, you're doing your own thing. You're breaking out. You're not doing your pretty little liars. You're talking, you're being funny. I didn't even know you're Australian. Good for 